The story begins by showing three bullies from a school, and student Miles is the leader of the group. They go to school to bully other students, whom they consider weak. One of the students who is always the target of bullying is a chubby young man named Jimmy. Even though he has been beaten by Miles many times, Jimmy never finds the courage to fight him. At school, Jimmy has two friends named Andy and Bobby, who are always supportive. Not only that, he also has very caring and loving parents. One day, Jimmy and his friends meet Miles and the gang on their way to school. Miles and his friends ask Jimmy for $100. This amount of money is clearly excessive for a boy who comes from a simple and poor family. Even though he tells him he doesn't have that much money, Miles doesn't care and forces him to give him $100. In addition to Jimmy, Miles often assaults Bobby, who behaves femininely. Jimmy tries to comfort and calm Bobby down after Miles humiliates him in front of the class. Jimmy and invite friends to eat at the school cafeteria. Andy and Bobby are surprised that Jimmy is able to eat a lot of food without stopping. Although he eats a lot, he never mocks him for his great appetite. Afterward, Andy and Bobby tell Jimmy that they should try with a girl from their school named Adrian because they often see her secretly staring at Jimmy when they dine in the cafeteria. Shortly thereafter, Miles shows up and sits down next to Jimmy and demands $100 again. One of the students, who is disturbed by Miles' presence, asks him not to make noise and walks out of the cafeteria. Seeing that he is repelled by students he considers weak, he responds by yelling and insulting the student. However, a student who is bigger and stronger than Miles decides to teach him a lesson, because he disturbed the others while eating them. In an instant, Miles' courage disappears and he immediately leaves. After school, Miles confronts Jimmy again and forces him to give him $100 again. However, Jimmy insists that he doesn't have that much money and doesn't disappoint Miles, so he doesn't have to pay him for any reason. Fed up with Jimmy, Miles hits him on the side of the road. He stops beating Jimmy only when an old man arrives and threatens Miles to file a police report. Miles gets into the car and runs away at full throttle. The old man decides to help Jimmy and takes him into the house to heal his wounds. Man presents himself as Action. While at Action's home, Jimmy discovers that he has been a world heavyweight boxing champion. Jimmy then asks Action to train him to become a boxer so he can fight Miles and stop the harassment. The old man is willing to help Jimmy beat Miles, but says he is too old to train him. Action says he will ask friends to help him with training. Afterward, Action takes Jimmy home and tells his parents to tell them about what happened. Jimmy's parents are very grateful that Action took care of Jimmy and got him home safely. The parents immediately give Jimmy permission to box with Action. The parents even accompany Jimmy to Manny's boxing gym. Action tells Manny about Jimmy's problems. Manny agrees to help Jimmy as long as he is serious and does not give up, because boxing training is hard and requires many sacrifices. After accepting it, Jimmy begins boxing regularly with Manny, while Action personally monitors his progress at each training session. Jimmy then tells him about Miles, who forced him to give him the money many times. Action then suggests that Jimmy promise Miles twice as much, or $200 provided he gives it to him within a month. Action believes that Jimmy will be prepared enough to be able to beat Miles on payday so that he doesn't have to give him the $200. The next day, Jimmy does what Action says when Miles approaches him to intimidate him again. Miles thinks for a moment, but eventually accepts Jimmy's offer and makes him promise to have $200 in a month. For a while, Jimmy can relax because Miles won't bother him for money. However, when Jimmy trains with Manny in the afternoon, he seems tired and unmotivated. Jimmy says he's tired. However, he cannot fool Manny, as his professionalism allows him to understand that Jimmy is not physically exhausted, but mentally. Manny then tells Action about Jimmy's condition, that he started not getting serious during training. While taking him home, Action asks Jimmy why he wasn't in the mood for that day's workout. Jimmy responds by claiming that he feels tired and thinks that training is not working. He remains weak and unable to defend himself. Hearing Jimmy discouraged, Action tries to cheer him up, saying that no effort is exhausted and that whatever the result is, he will learn a valuable lesson from his sacrifices. When he returns home, his father notices that he loses enthusiasm for training. His father does not force him to continue his training, but leaves him free choice. However, he tells Jimmy that one day he will be able to teach the kids how to defend themselves so they won't be bothered by bullies like him. After thinking of his father's words, Jimmy's fighting spirit returned and he is now ready to train seriously.
The next day, Miles and his group once again intimidate Jimmy and his friends. He doesn't even hesitate to punch Bobby in the face at everyone. Jimmy then approaches Bobby, who is crying alone and tries to comfort him. Bobby says he's desperate because there's nothing they can do against Miles and his friends. Jimmy disagrees and tells Bobby that he has a way to defeat Miles and their bullying. Once home, Jimmy goes to Manny's boxing gym on a bicycle. Although usually it was always in the wives of action because the boxing gym is quite far away, Action is very happy because Jimmy is excited to start boxing training again. In fact, being pre-excited, Jimmy accidentally punches Manny and falls to the ground. Instead of being upset, Manny is happy that Jimmy is boxing seriously again. Day after day, Jimmy trains with ambition and passion. Manny has made training Jimmy more difficult and also teaches him mixed martial arts. On the other hand, Action trains Jimmy's mindset by giving him tips and tricks to develop his fighting spirit. Meanwhile, at school, Jimmy tells Andy about the boxing training he went through to beat Miles. At the same time, Adrian approaches Jimmy and the two decide to get out. Adrian and Jimmy go to a party at friends' houses. After discussing many things, they realize that they are very compatible and connected to each other. During the meeting, Eddie, one of Miles' thugs, annoys Jimmy and Adrian by insulting them. However, Jimmy, who is now more self-confident, plucks up the courage and makes him leave. Time passes and the day comes when Jimmy promised Miles to give him the money. However, Jimmy is reluctant to stop letting Miles beat him. That morning, he wakes up with bursts of confidence and a creepy roar. When he arrives at the school, Miles immediately approaches him and threatens to hurt his friends if he decides to break his promise and run after school. While in the bathroom, Jimmy meets a guy who introduces himself as Vinny and learns about the affair between him and Miles. Vinny, who knows Jimmy is boxing at Manny's gym, encourages him and wishes him luck. Unbeknownst to them, Eddie, who was on the toilet, overheard their conversation and reported it to Miles, saying he probably didn't want to pay him. On Miles' orders, Eddie then summons a criminal known as Glass Joe Billy to come to the school and beat Jimmy. Rumors of the eminent fight between Jimmy and Miles quickly spread throughout the school, attracting the attention of students who want to know who will be the winner. With audacity, Jimmy goes to Miles and confronts him. Miles, who already knows that Jimmy won't give him the money, plans to beat him with the help of Glass Joe. However, Vinny acts faster and with the help of friends neutralizes Glass Joe, so Miles must inevitably fight Jimmy alone. The fight begins then. At first, it's hard for Jimmy. However, they do not give up, come to an end to the harassment. Jimmy is able to eliminate Miles' attack and hits straight in the face. Jimmy is no longer the grass boy who was beaten by everyone. Now he is able to defend himself and is forced to become even stronger to defend the weak from injustice. Seeing Miles lose, his friends knock on his doors decide to help him beat Jimmy. However, Andy and Bobby decide to intervene and fight the bullies so that Jimmy can defeat Miles and his friends. After winning, Jimmy orders Miles to stop beating anyone at school. But Miles doesn't seem to care. On the other hand, Action, who witnessed it also in the back of the crowd, seemed very proud, because despite the fact that Jimmy became the strongest in school, he still has a good heart. It seems like the fight between Jimmy and Miles has gone viral after it appeared on the internet. The video is even broadcast on a local television channel, so that Jimmy's actions against bullies become a topic of conversation in the community. Everyone honors Jimmy's courage in dealing with bullies and his parents are proud because now the boy can seem lonely and is no longer bullied. The film ended by showing Jimmy, Andy, Bobby, and Adrian who are now more self-deprecating and became the center of attention at school after their success in beating a group of bullies who bothered everyone.